Well, hello. Hope you guys are having a great evening. Just wanted to do a quick video. I know I haven't done a video in a while, so I wanted to put some content out there for you guys. Um, just got back from the gym about 20 minutes ago and there was a box waiting for me on my steps, which is always an exciting thing. It was a tackle warehouse order I put in a couple weeks ago. Um, first thing I got, as you know, if you watch the video on uh, my bag review, my new fishing bag I got, um, I realized that my scale was broken. Uh, I've been waiting for a good scale to go on sale. Um, and this one went on sale. It's about, I think it was like 40% off or 46% off, something like that, almost 50% off. Um, I wanted this style of scale, uh, the Boga grip with the digital scale. So here it is. It's a Baker electronic grip and weigh. 30 pound capacity. Uh, you can store um, different weights in here. So it has a, up to a 10 weight memory. Um, pounds or kilograms. Um, ounces has a backlit screen. Let me show you. So you turn it on, pounds and ounces. You hold the power button, backlit screen. Also has a cool feature that I haven't seen on a lot of them. It has a light. So at night when you're hooking up the fish, you can see what you're doing, which is uh, pretty cool. I didn't, I actually didn't know I had a light on it. I got that scale and this was only I think this was like 30 30 something 30 and change it was under $40 um, with it on sale so uh, seems to be a pretty solid scale um, I'm excited to use it but of course I had to make my order over $50 so I could get free shipping so I also bought two Lucky Craft Square Bill crankbaits I got a watermelon craw and a pumpkin seed. Let me open these up so you guys can get a better look at them. This is the pumpkin craw crankbait. It's got an orange belly. Pretty substantial hooks on these. Pretty beefy hooks. It's a little translucent. You can s the paint's a little see-through, which is kind of cool. So the light will kind of make it shimmer a little bit as it's going through the water if it's on a sunny day. So that one's kind of cool. That's the watermelon craw. This is the pumpkin seed. This is like a traditional like bluegill pattern, pretty much. like pearl green on top and these are both silent so they don't have rattles in them which is kind of cool and they're a little bigger than the square bowls that I have I have I have a couple uh, I'm actually not sure what they are, but I have a couple smaller square bills. So these are the a little bigger than the ones that I have, but I'm excited to throw these. Oh, uh, I guess I could show you this too. Um, with all this swim bait gear and freshwater gear I've been buying, I forgot that I also do a lot of saltwater fishing. Um, I just got a St. Croix Triumph Surf Rod. This is a 10 foot, six inch, medium heavy, moderate, fast action, two to six ounce lure rating. It's got this really nice, like old school cork grip, really long so you can get a lot of leverage for slinging those baits out here. This is actually used. I bought this off a friend of mine. And uh, this top, the top section of the blank is actually brand new. 
um, St. Croix sent him a brand new blank because his older one was broken, I guess. So they sent him this one for like 35, 40 bucks. And uh, so I bought this off my buddy because I needed a new saltwater rod. My, my saltwater rod I've been using is from 1960 and the reel that I had on it was from 1958 and both those things started suffering a little bit by the end of last season so I needed to kind of upgrade to a more modern setup so this is my St. Croix 10 foot 6 inch surf casting rod so I'm really excited to use this. I also got a couple lighter rods. I have a pen battle, a pen fierce, and a pen defiance. Just uh, shorter, probably like six, seven foot, um, smaller cast or spinning setups for salt water. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I got my cat. Say hi, Noodle. Say hi to everybody. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this short video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with what's going on with me and um, we'll see you in the next video.